Y'all might notice a few differences right here. There's a reason for that. An unhappy reason. I was uh, clearing out my files of, you know, stuff that I've already, stuff that I've finished working with, stuff, you know, just various things, getting rid of it, filling, uh, clearing up hard drive space, and unfortunately, uh, I had, I was not paying close enough attention, and I cleared out the Dark Souls playthrough along with it, because I still had the file selected from when I went to, like, I, you know, went to open it up to get to the text file that had all the information regarding the videos, you know, potential titles, what I did in those particular videos, all that shit. And so it was still highlighted, and I was just going through and highlighting other things to delete. I was paying no attention, and it killed it. And I did not notice for a while. It took me a little bit, and it, it was too, uh, it wasn't, it was, the file was too big to just be put into the recycle bin. and had to kill everything, and so, um, uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't notice for a while, and so when I finally did notice, I immediately started looking up, you know, like, okay, how can, is it possible to retrieve files that have been cleared out that aren't still in the recycle bin, and I went and I downloaded uh, Piriform, actually, if you've never heard of them, I don't know how you wouldn't, because they have some of the best free software you can get, like I use CCleaner and Defraggler, and then they also have a program called Recover, which is designed to do that, it's designed to look for deleted files but you know when you delete files they're not immediately cleared they're still basically there until like the computer needs the space and it's like oh okay well this is overwritable uh, stuff right here so let me just clear that out permanently and let me you know use that space now that I can act now that uh, I need to use it and so I was hoping that that might find it it found six videos out of 45 six out of 45 so obviously we gotta we gotta we gotta start over not really start over but uh yeah so anyway so I can't remember specifically like exactly uh, where I was at this point in time I cannot remember um, I mean that's basically it like I don't know it, there's there may be a couple I like I kind of intentionally avoided doing things that I wasn't sure if I hadn't done them yet so like all of the black knights right now those dudes are also oh, what am i doing uh all the black knights are still alive all of um i haven't done like i really i've just i've done exactly what i knew i had to do but some little nuances like i'm not sure if i had upgraded my scythe at this point in time i am 90 percent certain that i did not have a pyromancy flame at this point in time uh so there, there's gonna be a couple little bit of differences and it obviously sucks like i obviously did not want to do that oh as you can see i'm also playing online now that was something that i had done um uh that was a decision i had made around when i got to, when i started doing the dlc and i was like you know like why am i not playing online why am i not having the risk of you know in like you know people would i think people would enjoy seeing a little bit of pvp if it happens you know whatever it's, there's no real significant downsides to playing online and so I've I started playing online but now we're gonna get to see it even earlier than you would have seen it because of all this bullshit I mean it really I mean it obviously sucks because there were so many <laughs> be wary of poison after you've already wandered through the poison um there's so many moments that I, I'm not gonna be capable of replicating obviously you know things that just happened that um now I can't, you know, I can't force them to happen again. It's not, you know, that's not fine. I don't... Some people can't really tell when something is forced or not. Like, there are a lot of people who try to kind of, like, replicate the whole... Like, I don't know whether or not... Hey, look at that, a co-op sign. Let's see what this dude looks like. I'm not going to use him. I'm only going to use... Oh, you look basic as hell. I'm only going to use Mildred. Um... Like, the whole kind of just be as loud as possible, as often as possible. Like, scream at everything, shout everything. And, I mean, to me, just, like, that kind of personality is obnoxious, but it's obviously popular. And you see certain people, and it's just so obviously unnatural and forced, and I hate that. And I would never want to, you know, do that myself. I would never want to 
try and force moments to happen rather than just reacting to them naturally and having them occur naturally. So it absolutely sucks that there are certain things now that like were very memorable moments in my opinion throughout the playthrough that now nobody's ever going to get to see because I'm a fucking idiot. Um, but obviously, you know, it's we can we can make new ones. We can make new memories together. <laughs> Providing I don't delete everything again. Hi, boobies. You don't even make up for it. Boobies don't even make up for it. You also gotta trim those nails, girl. When your nails are getting longer than your hair, you, you got you got some problems. So basically, I want to see. I'm not using the gold pine resin yet because I want to see the difference in the damage output. So I'm doing 221-ish. I think I have time. Please have time. Please. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Everything's fine. Everything's perfectly fine. Shit. Shit. I can't do math. I wasn't paying close enough attention to do math. There we go. 270. Oh, that's doing a very... That's... I'm not sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not not right in front. Not right in front. Oh, is they going after Mildred now? Poor old Mildred. Yo, I am body. Oh, God. I'm about to get body. We were supposed to switch to the shield, but the frame rate has gone to abs. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> the frame rate died. Like it was running at half speed. It did not accept numerous button presses that I did. That didn't happen the first time around. <laughs> I did actually die to the same exact thing, but I got one shot when I tried to dodge away from that, and I think I got counter hit. So at least that happened. I'm not going to be doing that the entire time. I'm not going to be saying like, well, this is what happened the first time through. I'm not going to. I promise that I'm not going to do that. That'll just be my one mention and never again shall we speak of that which may not have, may as well have never existed because now nobody's ever going to get to fucking see it except for me. Sorry. I mean, I, could, I think I'm going... Because I did uh, get those six files, and I now have them saved. And it's also... The shitty part, too, is that whenever I did playthroughs before... Like, obviously, I haven't done a playthrough in a while, right? Like, uh... Shit, what was the, when was the last time I did an actual playthrough? I guess Transistor would have been it. But I didn't back up Transistor, either, because that was, like, a 12-part a playthrough or some shit. Um... But anyway, point being... I had always backed, whenever I had done these before, I had always backed them up. Because you never know what can happen. You never know. Maybe the computer dies. Maybe it's just, you know, your hard drive dies. Maybe you have to, um, like, you have to, uh, back up. You have to, uh, load a backup version of your computer that doesn't have, like, you know, the, ne the latest 10 videos or something. You never know what kind of shit can occur when it comes to electronics. Shit happens. Pure and simple. So, um, you know, so I was always careful about it. I always made sure, like, okay, let me just make sure I have these backed up. Once they're on YouTube, they're there. I don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, and so, you know, I'd get rid of them as I added them to YouTube. But this time around, for whatever reason, I just didn't back them up. And, of course, the one time I don't back them up is the one time I, I should have. That's how it always works. Right, let's try this shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stay over there. Stay over there. Guard my souls. Don't do the fucking jump. Oh, is she after Mildred? Yeah. Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, that was last attack was a bad idea. Never mind, that last attack was a fantastic idea. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. That's not what I thought it was. Oh god. At least the frame rate hasn't died yet. Oh shit, oh shit, oh balls, oh balls. Oh never mind. Ha! Ah, never mind! I've always been bad, I should heal. Oh no! I've never seen that attack before. I've legitimately never seen that attack before. That's new to me. Dead, bitch. I don't care what you're doing. You dead, bitch. I think all the damage I took that time was from... Man, either Mildred took a beating, though. 
Oh, that reminds me. So, uh, going back through, obviously I fought the Gaping Dragon again. I had no idea you could summon Knight Lautrec to the Gaping Dragon fight. That was very interesting. So technically, if you really want to, you can summon two NPCs. And I did, just for shits and giggles, because I wanted to see uh, if Knight Lautrec dropped and like gave you anything special. And of course, I did not actually get to see that, because Knight Lautrec died like a bitch, along with Solari. They both died. The fucking idiots. It pissed me off so much because I had, like, they were taking a beating. They always do. Like, they just, they don't block things. They don't dodge things. And so when you have a boss like the Gaping Dragon who has these wide, sweeping, extremely damaging attacks, the NPCs are going to get their asses kicked. That's how it's going to work. Um, but so, they were doing okay. I got the Gaping Dragon down to about 25% health. Both of them were down to around kind of like 50% health. They weren't doing great, but it looked like they were going to survive. And then, for some reason, the Gaping Dragon's AI just popped off and decided to do that leaping attack. Where, like, basically he usually only does it if you're behind it and you're hitting it. And so then it'll jump and twist around in midair to readjust itself and, you know, be facing towards you. It did that a good eight times in a row or so. And Solari and, <laughs> and Loudtrek ate every single goddamn one of them every single one oh dear. so what have we here? they ended up dying Are you you, sir? i was only like three hits away from killing it too and they did die i still got so close but yeah they just they ate every single fucking one of them should i go get eggs let's go let's go show that shit off let's go get some eggs we'll end that actually we can't end that i'll do that in the break i forgot it takes a bit so we'll talk about that in time, movie ass. I think I actually have two. Ooh, that may have been something that uh, we. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Loud Trek drops it when you kill him. You don't get it when she's okay. So uh, when I went back to, because I rolled back around to Firelink Shrine to get to the Undead Paris to pass in that Ember and shit. Um, I grab. That's when. Basically, I don't know exactly specifically if this is how it works, but you free Loud Trek. Loudtrek goes back to the Firelink Shrine, you can talk to him, you get uh, the Sunlight Medal, and then you can either kill him and you get humanity and uh, a ring, or alternatively, you can leave him alone, you come back later, and I think it's just like once you've cleared one other area, um, he go, he comes, he kills the Firekeeper person, and all that's left is her clothes, and you get the Black Eye Orb, which allows you to invade him later. Um, so that happened, I went and picked that up, and I don't think I had done that yet. My bad. So, I am not going to go kill Seasless Discharge, actually. I remember, because I want to kill him for realsies, and I don't think I have the damage output necessary to... You know what, let's, just, let's go try it. Let's go try it. Why the fuck not? We'll end the video on either wonderful, beautiful success, or... Disgusting, disappointing failure. Likely the latter. But, you know. <laughs> Why not try? There's a centipede demon. Hi, centipede demon! It'd be amusing if you could snipe him from up here. There's no way arrows would go that far to begin with. But it would still be kind of amusing if you could actually snipe that thing from here. And just kill it. You'd never end up having to fight it. I wonder, though, you'd actually, you'd never be able to get the orange shard ring. So if you could do that, you'd be fucked. So never mind, don't do that. Don't try that. It's gonna be, actually, how much... It doesn't matter, I don't think, how much uh, fire... Oh, that actually has very good fire resistance. Cool. I thought it would be really bad, but it's not. Quite good, but it doesn't matter because I don't think like there's only he only does like one attack <laughs> that does fire and he doesn't do it when you're actually fighting him for real. I should heal full. This is going to just be absolutely awful. Okay, here we go. Actually, let's not get too close. Let me healing because that that fire right there can actually hurt you. All right, okay, 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 buddy. How the hell are you? Oh God. Mm, 
this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be dead. I can. I think I can do this, but I'm gonna get one shot. So, yeah. Oops. Shit. I didn't dual wield. Wow. That is a very significant difference in damage. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? Ooh. Ah, shit. I fucked up actually. We gotta kill him now. I'm not leaving my shit behind. That's five humanity and 26,000 souls. I am not going to sacrifice 26,000 souls just so I can retain my sanity. So I'm actually going to do that thingy first before we do the... Oh, God. I hope I don't die doing it. It'd be kind of sad if I did die, but, uh, yeah. So I am going to get... I'm going to get some eggs for this dude, and we'll be back.